Hey everybody! Hi friends, I'm Kina. And I'm Will. And, and we, we are, are the, the Nerdy, Nerdy Weds. And what are we to, doing? Today we are making apple pie, the alcohol, alcoholic apple pie, not the pie that you eat. Okay. And we're doing that because we are celebrating Virtual Dragon Con this weekend and apple pie is the unofficial official drink of Dragon Con. It's the beginning of fall. Uh, the end of summer convention. A lot of people are starting to get into the Halloween spirit right at Dragon Con. Of course, with the cosplay going on and everything else, you know, the spirits are high and everybody likes to share in some apple pie. So the spirits are high, so they uh, it's share a double spirits. On, it's a double entendre, <laughs> yes. So okay. what are we making this stuff so out of? So we are making the very, I, I hate to be a basic bitch, but we are making the very basic recipe because it's just simple and straightforward and if you want to modify it it's easier to modify from this recipe so what we have is a gallon of apple juice a gallon of apple cider and six cinnamon sticks actually i'm just going to use both of these containers because each only have four of them so eight cinnamon sticks and then we got a cup of brown sugar and a cup of, or half a cup of white sugar. So it costs for a cup and a half of, sh of sugar and we really prefer dark brown but we only had light brown and we only had that amount so we had to mix it up a little bit with the white sugar. Yeah. But again basic recipe if you um, you want to use all of one kind or mix it up you can do that. And then we have you talk about alcohol. Oh this is uh, Everclear? Not sponsored. Um, 151 proof. It, the recipe calls for 190, but we're not adults here in Florida, so they won't let us have 190 because somehow that's worse than 150. I guess it, it, it's going to do worse for you. But that's 75% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's still potent stuff, uh, and that's one liter of that. And the recipe that we usually make I think we use more alcohol. Do you remember? I know that there's another recipe that you found that we're not using for this one, which called which for 750 milliliters of that and mm -hmm. 750 milliliters of vodka. Right. Uh, which comes out to be more alcohol volume wise, but 250 milliliters less than of that one, but 50 milliliters more alcohol overall. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna we're we're, we're lightweights and we're not going yes. to Dragon Con, so we're not, so we're not sharing, sharing this. It. So I figure, even yeah. though we normally make that one, it'd be better to do this one. But for the holidays, I am going to make the other one, and then I'm also going to play around with different fruit flavors, and that's mm. what people are going to get for the holidays. Oh. At least friends who live locally and family who don't live locally, you can that's take it fault. up with him. If you don't live yeah. locally, it's your fault. So, um, I've already washed my hands. I think you did too yes. as well. But we need to have some, take a quick little pause and get something to cover our uh, hair because we don't want hair getting in, in the food. So, I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay. How am I supposed to use to cover my hair? Be creative and we'll see. We didn't really need to cover our heads. I just wanted an excuse to put on this hat and to see Will's reaction. Where, where, where's your cover? I don't have anything. <laughs> you could have um, got, you could have got your Jane Cobb hat. This is the nerdy is way. Okay, we're back. Pretty cunning, don't you think? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get started. So we put the pot on the heat. Can you um open another one? Yep. You got that one? No, I don't. I'll carefully pour in that apple cider. The only problem is this isn't Dickens cider. Because she loves Dickens cider. <laughs> you are an idiot. Both are a gallon, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. 
Uh, is that, that one's a gallon, right? Yes. It says one gallon? Yes. Okay. I don't know if we get enough room in this bowl for this a gallon. This was the pot I used last time. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of liquid going in the Although pot. I know I do have a bigger pot, but I thought I was pretty, pretty sure this was the pot that you know, I used. We'll, we'll put it in the other pot That's crazy. when it's cooled down. Yes. All right, let's 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 switch pots. Where's the other pot? We'll just we'll just explain the switch. Okay. No, that's smaller. I'm thinking this was a pot and maybe I just used less stuff. I swear you had that, that black pot. Big, yeah. Oh. Uh, it's good. Uh, and I'm recording. Like, Will's looking for another pot and I've just been pouring in ingredients, so there's not going to be any editing over here. <laughs> Except to get rid of that big dead space we had there, looking for uh, yes. <laughs> so will um, wow, this is <laughs> that's a very full pot. <laughs> it's a very full full pot, but it's coming. It's only going to stay in here long enough to uh, dissolve the sugar and bring so it to and, a boil. and bring it to a boil. So it'll, it'll be okay. And it's not like I have it on high heat, so I'll be able to turn it down as soon as it comes to that boil. But um, at Dragon Con, you will have people, strangers coming up to you with flasks and all kinds of different drinks for you to just randomly try. I personally have never taken a drink, a drink, a drink from a stranger. I sound like a little kid. Uh, well, I haven't just because I'm danger. i not comfortable with that because I don't know what they put in that drink. I don't know where their lips have been. So if it's someone I know, I will take a drink from their cup, sip from their cup. Yeah. But not from strangers. But I know but you I think, have. I think that in the light of recent pandemics, that might be a thing of the past. Yeah. In, in the way that it was done mm -hmm. in previous years where people would literally walk up with a giant flask of apple pie moonshine or or some other concoction that they want to share with you and just hand it to you well, and be why like, were you so comfortable drinking from like that because i know a lot of people at dragon con do that it, it's normal well nine times out of 99 times out of 100 it's a person i know that uh, we've been going to dragon con for so long uh -huh. we ha i have a group of friends I only see it Dragon Con. Right. I only see them once per year. But we all are tight mm -hmm. for that one weekend a year. That's true. And, and, you know, we've gotten to know each other over the and years. And I do have to call myself out when I say I have, I've never done it. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, I've taken plenty of jello shots from people. Yes, you have. <laughs> but I guess that's But that's an individual serving yeah. type thing. But it's not somebody walking up and handing right. you a bottle and saying, here, take a swig of this. But still, I don't really Speaking know of bottles, oh, I've yes. got this bottle. Again, not a sponsor, but loaded <laughs> dice. I mean, talk to us. Um, this is uh, the 100 sided, uh, 100 sided die. Uh, from Loaded Dice, and right here, you can see what you rolled, and uh, as you drink it down, you roll a higher score. Uh, the intention's not behind the 100-sided die, of course, but the intention is uh, they have shot glasses and stuff that represent different uh, sides, like four-sided die is a little shot glass, and six-sided die is a little bigger, and, mm -hmm. and eight side is bigger than uh, 10, 20, and then 100. And so, this is a growler. So you're, you're going to fill this with that. Okay, so mm -hmm. at, what you will do when you're making it, if you don't have one of these, is that you would get a quart size mason jar, something similar to this, but a little bigger. And you would just fill these up and, and tighten, 
close the lid up on it and just keep it in your fridge. And these allow it to keep a little longer than if you were to just say, put it, put it back um, in the gallon jugs. Yeah. Yeah. Which is typically, to be what honest, we do. what we do mm -hmm. when our, we're going to Dragon Con, we will make this a, a week prior mm -hmm. and fill the, the jugs up that we took everything out of <laughs> uh, just for ease of transport. You don't want to carry glass around no. for one thing. No. Uh, if you can avoid it. And it's going to be gone uh, once it gets to Dragon Con <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's not going to last more than a few days at the convention. Between you and your friends, it's getting drunk, drank, drunk. So Both. once this comes to a boil and the sugar is definitely dissolved, we'll let it cool to room temperature and then that's when we'll add the alcohol and then we're done. This is like the most simple recipe, but it really is very tasty and it can get you messed up really quick because of that. It sneaks up on yeah, you. Yeah, it does. Especially this recipe because it has the lower volume of alcohol in it compared to some of the others that mm -hmm. call for... 150 milliliters of alcohol. This one can really sneak up and kick you in the teeth. Okay, so that's it. This is a really simple recipe. All you're gonna do now is bring it to a boil, make sure the sugar dissolves, and then once it comes to room temperature, make sure it's at room temperature, then you'll add the alcohol and then just refrigerate, right? Yep, so yeah, just like she said, wait for it to cool down. You don't wanna add the alcohol in before it does, or your alcohol will start to evaporate out of your your mixture and we don't want that no, no we <laughs> do not want that and like and i am going to be sharing this with some friends because we are going to be consuming this over our our live uh feed yes uh saturday night this is going to be one of the main drinks that we've got we've got another surprise drink in the fridge mm -hmm. for that night but uh this will be our main drink of the night but as you can tell, there's a lot of alcohol and this, this is a drink that can sneak up on you. Well, when you share it with friends, I, I assume you mean you're taking it to them or something. Yes, yes. I'm still social distancing. So the only person I've been around is Will and uh, like two people at work at a distance. And that's about all I'm trying to do. It's better to be safe than sorry. That's how I look at it. But I'm excited for this weekend now that we're having this and our other secret drink and I'm a lightweight. You, you're you not as much of a lightweight, but I think it's still like you said, it's, it's gonna hit us. It's gonna hit us Yeah. Both. And you guys will see a little bit of that. Just, <laughs> just a little bit. So uh, that's all I've got. What, what else do you've got? That's it. Uh, this is not gonna be the best Dragon Con weekend we've ever had. But we're gonna make the best out of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So until next time, stay nerdy and uh, we're the Nerdy Weds and see you next time.